Hello everyone and welcome again to Nerd Alert at CES 2016. We are having a great time here. Um, one thing that we definitely wanted to talk about was the Oculus Rift, which was just announced to be launching uh, for $5.99. You can pre-order it now. A lot of people are wondering because of that, is it worth the price? So I had to go check it out myself, of course. Uh, I got to check out some new demos and some old ones. So they, again, they have Lucky's Tale, which is available pre-order. Uh, we got to check out Eve Valkyrie. Um, some new things I got to look at were Edge of Nowhere from Insomniac Games, which was really fun. What they showed us today was extremely immersive gaming. Today we were using the touch, we were using some different controls. It's definitely a medium to test how far the physics can go for the Oculus Rift. It was really exciting. So basically what it was, was a world full of toys. So we had guns, we had uh, little blaster guns, we had shrink guns, we had little pieces of a robot that you could take apart, maybe use his fists to punch, but it was incredible. You really get the feeling that you are in this. So at one point I was shrunk down by my demo partner um, and she started eating a stuffed animal and smooshing it in my face and like scaring me and I felt like a little you know, maybe I've bothered a cat or a dog or two like that in the past, and I won't do that anymore. When you're using the touch, it's something you do need to get used to. I think maybe on my second, third, or fourth try, this will be something that's pretty much second nature to me. But uh, what we were doing is gripping with our middle finger, uh, triggers with our trigger finger, pointer finger, I guess is what some people call it. And then, of course, we have a thumbstick. Uh, a, B, X, Y buttons where you would normally find them in uh, relation to your thumb. It's really interesting. It did feel a little bit like in the early days of when we were learning about the Wii several years ago and we're used to moving our hands around. I'm sure we have footage of me looking like an imbecile, throwing a frisbee, hitting a paddle, playing tetherball, um, firing a gun, but you forget how dumb you look when you're holding these things and it really does help you take that level deeper into the immersiveness. We played uh, shooter games, so one hand would maybe be a pistol, one hand would maybe be a shotgun or an assault rifle, and we'd have the teleporting ability. It was really fun. This is, this is a good way. What I saw was just a really good way of showing us what the Oculus can do. And what I can say is, this is an entirely new experience. So when we're, we're questioning the 599 price, I think this is something you really need to see, to fully believe, and to be, well, more than see. I mean, to be feel like you're in this world entirely. Um, so is it worth the pro cost? Is, is Sony possibly going to run away with this and maybe co make their Morpheus cost, I don't know, $399, $499? Maybe. That's definitely a possibility. But we do have a jumping off point for premium virtual reality with the Oculus. I would say so far, I really enjoyed my experience. I wanted to be cynical, but it's really hard after actually experiencing it myself. Audience, what do you think so far of the Oculus Rift and the release and the release price? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.